What is up YouTube, Roger here with a quick quick guide on how to fix some of the uh, bugs, not bugs, but like little pet peeves that things have, people have been trying to find uh, how to fix over the course of the last week since RuneScape 3. I'm going to show you how to fix them all or as many as I can in one short video. Okay, so the very first one is how to get all your, private, your, your chats in one tab. Uh, simply you see these gold icons or blue or whatever icon icons there are above your chat, the different colour depending on what settings you've got them to, just above your chat. Make sure as many of these are possible as gold, hover over them to see which ones are which. There's also trade requests, assist requests and profanity filter with game messages. Uh, simply click on them to change what they are. Um, when they're gold it means that they're on and you can see them all in your main chat like this. I've got my clan chat and friends chat in here. Um, the second one is your private chat. You see this diamond to the right of your chat tabs and those buttons that I was just directing you to. Uh, currently mine's blue which means it's friends only. If I click it again it'll go off. If I click it again it'll go gold and it means it's on. If I click it again it means it's friends only again when it's blue. So um, that's as easy as that basically. Hopefully they'll add a right click option so we can uh, you know get a drop uh, you know a, a selection from a drop down box like we used to have before as well as the click option because it's nice but it's not immediately obvious where things are. Um, to switch your combat styles, basically either press F4 on your keyboard um, or go to your bar that you'll have on your screen. It might be different depending on where yours is. Mine's a PVM setup currently, so yours will, might be in a different place. Might not be. Uh, press this button here. It's your abilities or powers. And then you'll see at the bottom right of every tab you'll have your uh, combat experience. Mine, mine's on melee at the minute. Uh, click balance the LXP all three. Simply click on the tab and go to the bottom right and you can see all of the different attack styles that you can choose from. It's as easy as that. Uh, to change your XP count as an interface you want to press your escape key, go to your interface settings and then you'll see your XP count is here on the right. Uh, you can select and change all three of them in the different tabs. Show the XP tracker right above it. And to change your interface transparency, simply drag this bar here and it'll change the transparency of your interface. Personally, I like mine fully or, um, opaque just because I like it that way and the dark colours are, uh, looks pretty nice to me. But that's completely optional. Um, to lock your interfaces, you want to simply click this button on the bar that we were looking at before with the abilities button on it. Click this padlock and it will lock it. And then that means you can't drag your interfaces anywhere, so don't worry about accidentally dragging your interface. <clears throat> and then simply click it again to unlock it. It's kind of like your action bar with, with your abilities. Um, you know, you can click this padlock and drag abilities, click it again, and you can't. It's as easy as that. It's the same sort of concept. Um, to move your interfaces around, you want to hit escape, go to edit mode. And then go to either check one of these boxes, you can check all three, it's up to you. But to make it less confusing, uh, only check gameplay HUDs and then you can drag them anyway. You can see my XP tracker is up here, top right. And then I've got my buffs and debuffs here, banking it for the central interfaces all around here. Drag them any way you want and that's where they'll appear on your screen. That's completely up to you. Or you can just select a preset from one of the, the presets that are there. Um, so another one that people have been asking for is display allegiance. Uh, so you want to click the third tab along, it's like a quest tab, it's sort of like a quest watch type icon, it'll come up with the Battle of Lumbridge. You'll see this display allegiance thing here, um, if I check it and then close it, I've got the, my Zamorak allegiance above my head. If I go back into it, uncheck it, then it will remove it from my head, head once again. Um, okay, so, you know, keybinds... Um, to change your keybinds, some you know, like familiar and quick prayers, press escape, go to controls, and then you can scroll down and change keybinds for absolutely everything. Some of the most useful ones I find are quick prayers and familiar actions because you don't, you know, you can control what option you've got on your familiar left click, and your quick prayers turn them on and off without having to drag them on your action bar. And you can change all the other ones as well. You just can't change the F keys just yet, but Jagex are working on that, and we will be able to change that very soon. Um, Okay, so the buffs and debuffs I already went over, um, but another thing that I want to talk about is the buffs and debuffs on you. Basically, if you hover over an NPC, let me find an NPC just so I can give you an example. Um, a what, an attackable one. Okay, so we'll hover over this seagull here. You can see as you hover over it, you can you, it, you can see that it's weak to air spells, and it's level two with 50 HP. Uh, your buffs and debuffs will appear wherever you've got your buffs and debuffs icon on your 3D 
interface editor so that's where yours will appear and they'll appear as little squares uh, you can't hover over them just yet but hopefully that will be added and finally last but not least if you come across a bug which you most likely have and a lot of people don't know how to submit bug reports so I kind of want to make it clear because it's important that we submit these bugs to the QA team and that they are able to fix the bugs. So basically go to the, ch the right of your um, chat interface again where that your private chat button is, click the flag report an issue and then click report a bug and you'll get this box here. S select from a drop down whatever it, it's relevant to and then a subcategory if it's relevant to one of those and basically just type in what your bug report is is what what's wrong and how you in the second box you want to type how you reproduce it so you know um, it's as simple as that basically click proceed after that it'll send it straight to the QA team who will then test it and then make sure it's fixed so uh, if this video has fixed some of your problems don't forget to give it a thumbs up join skill of friends chat in game and uh, if you've got any questions post them in the comments and I will try my best to help you thanks for watching cheers guys subscribe